Greetings in Jesus' name. My name is Sam Chieduzier. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Glory Chapel in Newcastle. Today we are reflecting on the Open Heavens Daily Devotional written by Pastor E.A. at Deboe. The, Bible, the topic for today is called to consecration. Bible passage is taken from Luke chapter 5, verse 8 through to 11. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their sheep to land, they forsook all and followed him. Our memory verse is Luke chapter 5, verse 11. And when they had brought their sheep to land, they forsook all and followed him. Our reflections for today it is a great opportunity for us to continue our reflection on the God's calling today from the Open Heavens Daily Guide, written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Last week, we looked at two important things regarding our calling. The first, first point being that our calling is a calling upwards. When God calls us, it is an opportunity for elevation. He calls us to the mountain and not to the valley. We also highlighted that it is a calling to separation. It is separation from sin and the world. As we continue today, Pastor Adeboye maintained that in addition to calling his people upwards and unto separation, God calls them unto consecration. To be consecrated to God means to be completely sold out to him. For instance, when he called Peter, he left everything to follow him. That is total consecration. When you are consecrated to God, He takes charge of your life. He makes the decisions while you carry them out. Being totally consecrated does not mean that you have to become a full-time pastor, but that He is free to decide how you spend what you earn. Let me share my experience with you. When God calls you to consecration, you may need to ask Him what you should spend and what to keep to yourself of your legitimate income. How consecrated are you? Pastor Adeboye added that another nature of God's call is that he calls to distinction. If he calls you to the mountaintop, it means you are to be distinct from the crowd. Hence, Matthew 5 verse 14 says, A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. When Elijah was about to go to heaven in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1 through to 15, it was only he and Elisha that stood on the other side of Jordan. Across the Jordan were some sons of the prophets watching at a distance. But on Elisha's return, they recognized that there was transference of the anointing and they bowed out to him. Have you been called? Then you must be different. You have been called to shine as light. How different are you? Among other believers, how distinct are you as a representative of Jesus Christ? In your marriage, in your home, in your business, how different are you? Action point. Provoke God by engaging his anointing in you to solve the problems of others. Join us again. Same time, same place. God bless you.